week. And we are joining you during this Unity Week from the campus of Clemson University. The Tigers are trying to avoid being swept by Duke, the number three team in the country, who have now won 10 straight regular season ACC series going all the way back to last year. 2-2 pitch, Kelly Torres leading things off. Right up the middle, and it's picked nicely. Maddie Moore has played really well at shortstop. When you talk, And Davidson jumps on the first pitch. It goes into short right field where it was almost caught by Alex Brown. But instead, Davidson winds up on second. That would have been a spectacular catch. Six. That Whatever. thing, that thing. You know, a play of the day. <laughs> but that's a break for Duke. A little excuse me swing by Vega will get Davidson over to third. Recognizing all seniors after that game. So she was able to catch that entire game on senior day. Popped up, playable. Spencer ends the inning after giving up the one out double. Full count now. Wow. Tons of velo, and we've seen that she hasn't thrown a ton of innings as of late, so she's coming in pretty. Cassidy Kerr just fielded the main. Alex Brown, comebacker to throw her out. That is. Duke took game one 13 to nine on Friday. Cassidy Curd is dealing. That's her second strikeout of the inning. Curd loves the top of the zone and it was perfect day for softball. Other than the wind blowing in as a hitter, you like to see that one going out. Handled by Moore, terrific throw across to get Freelich. Strike to walk ratio that has just absolutely improved head over heels. Last season, 18 strikeouts, 12 walks, sitting there. Really kind of made it a, a crowded field of good teams. Tough play for Lungaleo, but she's a good third baseman, charged it nicely to retire. Goddard Tapia goes down to second. Hitters right now. Ahead 0-2. It's a weak grounder that is fielded by Spencer just in time to flip it over to Noller. To another 1-2 on the way to Noller. Upstairs again, that one at just over 68 miles an hour. That of the at-bat is fisted towards Gold, who is able to grab it for out number two. Curd not afraid to take the ball in on the hands. A lefty that throws a tight curveball into a right-handed batter. This at-bat. Not handled by the shortstop, Baker. Clemson has its first base runner. Approach for her. Typically, she stands with two hands very low in her stance, but this time, waits until the last minute to put it on, but Curd takes advantage. A ball up in the zone, way out of the zone. Swing and miss. Spencer feels it and throws her out. And we were able to talk to Kyle Jamison before the game. All right. Torres on the ground. More charges. He gets her. A little bit of a snow cone over there by Nola at first. Alex Brown drifts to her, her right. And it's the first one, two, three inning. Everybody circles her on their lineup, and she's the one that everybody attacks when they come in. Full count now to Johnson. Nice recovery for Curd, who fell behind 3-0 and gets her fifth strikeout. She's behind 0-1. Fisted towards Vega, who is one of Jenny Dalton Hill's favorite players right about now. Nice. He was able to strike out Johnson after falling behind 3-0. and That is a solid base hit right up the middle. So whatever Maddie Moore was telling herself, it worked out in that and back. And sometimes it comes down to just being able to stay so focused. Slide a little smile there from Torres after the throw. Tapia with chance, backhands it and retires. Brown, they strand Maddie Moore in a week with Amina Vega, scoreless at the top of the fourth. Right back to Spencer for a quick first out and you give credit to Hyatt as you know, Alma, Florida State and then an extra inning game at Louisville and then right before 
And Gold strikes out right before this series. They lost a midweek game to can Shorter load back behind and makes you go right towards contact. And Leo throws across. Second straight, one, two, three inning. And they hit the road to play Notre Dame and Louisville to close out the regular season. Down the first baseline, Tapia was able to recover in plenty of time. When you and I were talking about that their pitches are, you know, borderline, always on the corner, she said, sometimes she's really good because you just don't know where it's going. That one. Got enough of the plate to set Noller down. Wongaleo here for Clemson. Hit on the nose, went under the glove of gold. Two out base runner. Wongaleo looking over from first. Vega, that's a very routine play for her after taking the loss on Friday night in game one of this series. Speed on the base paths, because runs obviously hard to come by so far. Bunt goes down from Goddard, does her job. And good job communicating, we saw Gina Baker trying to do some damage, sends that one, but got too far underneath it. Mackenzie Clark. Two one is hit into left field. Terrell, a little bit of a hesitation and now has to hustle back to third base. Because she's got a 636 average on the changeup. That is off the glove of Lungaleo at third, and Duke scores its first run. How important is that pinch hit now by Burgess to be able to come off the bench cold potential? Love the way that Marissa Young has tinkered with her lineup to be so impactful at the top. An easy advancement on a hard hit ball by Torres. Terrell scores, and another hit up the middle by Davidson, plates another run, and then the call is safe over at third. When why is it important that they re-enter Jennings for Burgess when she gets on first base? It's because of that right there. So much speed on the bases by Jennings. She absolutely lights up the base pass. And even though Clark almost airmails this one, Logaleo over there at third thinks she got her out. Mercy Young says safe, and she's right. Vega lifts that towards Clark. She's got the sunglasses on and squeezes it for the third out. But Duke, money up there, so we apologize for exposing that. Vela able to toss out Vieira for the first out. A lot of ACC players up for an opportunity. Jayla Wright feels her position nicely again. Johnson with the liner right back. I mean, her, her energy in the circle is infectious. That's seen her a lot calling ACC Network games. She adds something different to her pre-pitch routine, and this year it's the left hand going straight out. Jenny's favorite second baseman makes the play. Popped up, foul territory playable for Nolan. It's been a tough day for Gold. That's two outs in the air, but after striking out down and in, here in the sixth inning. That one hit Freelich. To be able to stand there and wear a velocity pitch is... Facing Giselle Tapia. Sends it into center field. Clark, who moves so well in the outfield, is able to hunt it down for the second out. Not only is she on the season, so as a hitter to get on, you've got to earn it. Head 0-2, then pulls the string to get the gorgeous strikeout of Goddard for Jayla Wright, who came in to relieve starter Cassidy Curd. The left after throwing 71 pitches. That one right up the middle. Leadoff single for more. One. 
Beautiful play by Tapia, who is able to retire Brown on an absolute scorcher down the first base. The action clock violation. That is popped over the head of Jada Baker running all the way and safe at home. Maddie Moore scores. That allowed the hand to get to the plate. I mean, Clark is jammed up. That is not a screamer to the outfield. And Davidson charges hard. A beautiful one hop to Torres who leaves advance, leaves the plate open. Nowhere bounces it, that advances the runner. Tapia steps on the back, route number two. Comes up there in like June. <laughs> 0 2 with two away, just taps it back to Jayla Wright, who saves the inning, retiring the always dangerous Lunga. Clemson, a run to cut the lead in half. Leading things off, Jada Baker just able to beat out the first pitch she saw from Millie Thompson. And that has been ruled a What a tremendous freshman year, playing short at third, and that th takes Noller off the bag. That will be, I anticipate, an error on Lungaleo. Well, the reason that happens is because you know how much. And that is indeed an error on the third baseman. And then it gets away from the catcher, Vieira. And both runners move up 60 feet. You see season and going to the postseason. Torres squares to bunt, puts one down, and no call at the plate. I assume she is safe. And now a couple of runners as Torres is bouncing around trying to get Clark to throw the ball. So the way you handle this play is you actually need to walk that runner back to first base and stand there and call time. This is a play that has been done in travel ball and it leaves runners on the corners. And Torres now down at second base and Claire Davidson is coming through again. That gets all the way to the wall. Two more RBIs for Davidson. Vega had four hits in the first two games, including a grand slam. Off McCubbin sends this one to center field. Playable for Clark, who gets it right in front of the Tiger Paw on the Clemson side sign. But Davidson tags and advances to third. Strawberry number one. Strawberry number one. On a goal, gets another RBI. Jumping on the first pitch she saw to bring in Davidson. This Duke team has lost an ACC series. Relic on a one-two pitch, sends it into left field. The toughest teams in the conference, but they were spread out. Caught over there in foul territory by Lungaleo. Goddard. To Moore, flips over to second to get the final out of the inning, but nine came to the plate for Duke. Seriously, at younger ages, to be able to be more dynamic when they take the circle, when they get to college, that should not be a pitch that is learned in college. That should be something that they are tinkering with from the very beginning. Terrific pitch out of the zone that was chased and missed by... I like that. Oh, well, she wore white yesterday. But today, she's in your favorite color pink. Purple. A little purple to me. <laughs> Two strikeouts for right. The arrow goes down swinging, and now it's up to Kylie Johnson. Hey, on her 22nd birthday, looks to close it out. 
and does. Three pitches, and Jayla Wright has struck out the side to end the game, and Duke sweeps the three-game series from Clemson, taking it 6-1 to one tonight. A very happy birthday indeed for Jayla Wright, who does the birthday dance. For Jenny Dalton-Hill and the rest of our crew, I'm...